Hey guys, it's Melissa here from MelissaOpen.com. I have a message today for those of you who've experienced grief or are going through loss right now, whether it's the actual physical loss of a person or it's the loss of a relationship. The universe wants me to let you know, first of all, that death is just an illusion. When we physically leave this world, we're actually just being transformed into another energy. We're all energy. Energy doesn't die. It just moves on into another form. So your loved one doesn't really die either, but I know that's easier to say that than to say, okay, well, they're not here, so I'm still missing them. And I totally understand that. And same for those of you who've lost a relationship. It's just a transition in your life. Yes, it's painful, but the universe doesn't take things away from us to punish us. It's 1010 on the clock right now. Tens are all about completion, endings of cycles. We have to have endings in order for new beginnings to come up. Uh, you know, there is an end to everything. It shouldn't be something that scares us, but you're still left with this pain. And this grief is all because you have all of this love with nowhere to go. So how do we work through that? I wrote my book, Beautiful Morning, because I was really struggling after I lost my mom. Pancreatic cancer is such a horrible disease and watching her suffer through it was also horrible. But it left me with so many different feelings. You know, they say there are seven stages of grief, one of those being guilt. And I felt extremely guilty. I felt like I didn't do enough for my mom. I wished that I could take her place. So many other things. Death leaves us with so many unanswered questions. And in my new book, Beautiful Morning, I talk about my own experiences, but I also give you guidance and tools and tips for how to work through grief. I learned so many things that helped me work through my own feelings of grief, and I'm here to help others do the same. And I thought today I would do a reading for you. If you are missing someone and you'd like to get some messages from them, I'm gonna pull some cards today from the Talking to Heaven deck to see what messages wanna come out. I wanna just quickly show you Beautiful Morning, A Guide to Life After Loss is available both in the, it's well, it's available on ebook, it's available with a hard copy, and it's also available on audiobook. So it's available on ebook, and hard copy on Barnes and Noble and Amazon, and it's available on audiobook on Spotify, Nook, Apple Books, Google Play, and a few other places as well. So let's see, think about someone you have in your mind who you love very dearly and you'd like to have a message from, and we're gonna see what comes out for you today. Okay, so your loved ones have been visiting you in your dreams. Sometimes we have dreams about our loved ones and they feel so incredibly real. And you wake up and it's like, yeah, I had this whole conversation. I remember after my mom first passed away, I had a dream about her and I can remember the conversation we had and it was just like we were sitting down having coffee and having a whole discussion about what was going on in my life. And she was telling me she couldn't even describe how beautiful it was where, we, where she was and she couldn't wait for me to join her someday. It felt very real and our loved ones can visit us in our dreams. Um, when we are, our energies are so different. Ours are vibrating at a much lower frequency and theirs are now vibrating at a really high frequency. They have to lower their energy frequency. We have to raise ours in order to be able to, you know, that's what mediums often do. When you're dreaming, it's much easier for them to get to us. There's no, uh, there's no time where I am. Time is only on the earth. So yeah, I feel like when she said that, it was like, oh, I can't wait for you to get here like it was gonna be tomorrow. <laughs> but it's because there's no time where they are. And it will feel like for them, like, oh, I just saw you. For us, we're gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's been so long. I'm not dead. So see, death is just an illusion. They are still very much with you and still very much part of your life. They are just in a different dimension. It's hard for us to wrap our human brains about that. But whatever you wanna call that, some people call that heaven, whatever you feel for yourself is perfect. You know, it's a lot of people say heaven, that's what I call it. 
but it's another dimension. I'm surrounded by loving animals. I always thought this was so weird because growing up in my religion, they were like, animals don't go to heaven. I'm like, what? That's the most horrible thing I've ever heard. Of course they do. And of course your pets who've crossed over are gonna be the first ones to greet you when you get there because they're such loyal companions. It's not your fault. So if you're feeling that guilt, if you're blaming yourself, your loved one says it's not your fault. Our death, our time of birth and our time of death are predetermined. And I've done several interviews on my podcast with people who've had near-death experiences. And from what they've told me, we have a few possible exit points. So those people that have the near-death experiences, sometimes that's one of their possible points. But when they get to the other side, they're told, you know, either you have a choice or you have to go back. It's not your time yet. It's all been predetermined. I have no pain now. They're not in any pain. So if you were with them in their final days and you knew they were in a lot of pain, know that they don't have that pain anymore. That is an earthly thing. Even if they were in severe pain when they were dying, the moment that they are no longer in their physical bodies, that pain leaves them. The earth is the school. We came here to learn. And a lot of lessons are painful, but it's all about learning. We came here to learn unconditional love and <laughs> that is a really tough thing. So all of those tough lessons you went through, you actually signed up to go through them. And I talk about that in my book. And a lot of people are, they don't believe me. And they're like, no, I would never pick that. But I remember when I went to college, I signed up for philosophy and I was so excited. I thought it was going to be such a great class. I hated every moment of that class. It's like that on the other side. We don't remember what it's like to feel pain. We don't remember how hard those things are to experience. So we were like, yeah, I wanna sign up for that. I wanna sign up for losing my parent at a young age. I wanna sign up for going through divorce. It sounds insane, but the quickest way for our souls to elevate is to go through tough and difficult situations. So if you've done that, congratulations, your soul wanted to elevate really quickly. Know that things uh, do get better. This is the school on earth and school can be really hard. It's okay. You're just learning lessons. And in my book, I try to teach you how death is also a lesson for us. And that grief and death can be our greatest teachers. It teaches us to value our loved ones. We're never promised a single second here. We don't know when the next day is gonna be someone's last. So to value those who are here, to let go of the small things that don't really matter, quit worrying about things that in the end are not gonna make one bit of difference and focus on the things that bring you joy and love and happiness and spread kindness. That's really what it's all about. So I hope that these messages resonated in some way. I hope they were helpful for you and that they at least helped you to feel a little bit of relief from this pain. If you need more help, check out my book, Beautiful Morning. Again, it's available on audio, ebook, and paperback. You're not alone. Everyone experiences grief and everyone struggles with it. You can't get through it. Healing is possible and you can feel better and your loved one wants you to feel better. I hope you have an amazing and beautiful day and I will talk to you soon.